Hi, this is Eric Solomon, and I'm bringing you the Pick 5 preview from Mammoth Park for Friday, August 20th. Put together a $48 ticket for this sequence. I found it really hard to come up with a single, so I'm not singled in any of the races here. Two deep uh, three in three different spots and spread out in two others. We're going to go ahead and get things started with the first race in the sequence, which is race two. I'm going to go two deep in here, and I'm, my top pick is the two horse, my best friend. I'm willing to just draw a line through the last race at Belmont. Uh couple solid races uh, at parks before that has formed that, that fits this field. Decent tactical speed from, from that near inside post. Going to go with also use the one Fouette. Definitely has some rail speed. Third to a nice filly in Liam's Light, who was a winner at this level two starts ago, or two weeks ago, excuse me. Race three, this is the most wide open race to me in this sequence. I'm going to go four deep, and my top pick is actually a 30 to one long shot here. This is a race that looks just ripe for a long shot. I'm going to look at the four fits. Showed a little bit of speed last time out. Definitely has a, has a speed-oriented pedigree. Going to will, willing to just draw a line through her turf, her only turf effort. It was at two turns. It was coming off a long layoff, going her first career try at two turns. Just was set up to be a disaster. She showed some improvement last time out. And again, the pedigree there. Uh, McLean's music on top, cuisine underneath. It uh, was the damn sire. So it uh, could be a little sneaky play. Deidre Panis has two winners at the meet. Both of them came on the turf. Also going to include the one Beach Warrior. Had traffic trouble last time out, but a decent try with better that race. The two Jamma Dillon going to use. This, this horse looks like a horse that could be a good sprinter. Draw a line. I'm going to draw a line through that last race at Colonial. I, I think she's better than that. And uh, then also going to use the three, make a move, a decent effort last time out at this level. It could be a gate to wire threat here. Race four, it's as easy as one, two, three for me. My top pick is the one, Nick the Card Shark. Again, another one that where I'm just willing to draw a line through that last race. Jersey Joe B kind of threw down the gauntlet in a race at this level and just kept finding as he's shown the ability to do prior to going off form. Uh, just didn't run a good race that race. Has three races before that in a row that, that are certainly good enough to be a winner here. Was claimed out of that last race. Makes first start for new connections. Also going to use the two. Karen's Cove. Another one claimed out of that race. Uh, had some trouble at the break at this level. Makes sense. And then a little bit of a price with the three. It's a risk. Eight to one on the morning line. Uh, this one was also claimed out of that uh, July 23rd race. Moved up in class last time out, had, had a lot of trouble at the break, so I'm willing to forgive that start, expecting better from that one here. Go to race five, going to be too deep here on a six to one horse, the two T minus 10. This is another one that's definitely getting class relief. Had, had a real strong effort, three back at Penn National, beating 16,000 non winners at two claimers on the turf. Last two has faced much better horses, didn't run awful, um, had some trouble in the last start. This one makes sense coming back here, dropping, I think offers some value. The eight horse I'm also going to use, Mr. Leonardo, uh, returned off a layoff in an off the turf race. This one has her has the best races at two turns on the turf. I'm going to play against the favorite here, Shore Magic, coming in from New York for Christophe Clement. Just don't think that that one uh, does has no early speed. I think this wants to go longer than this mile on the 16th. Uh, I'm just not buying this one in this race. And then race six, going to use two more here. One night stand, my top pick claim last time out. Did have a solid effort, two back. Um, is an improving three-year-old filly that makes sense here. Also going to use the eight, Absolute Anna. Uh, you sprinted last time out. Definitely looks like a horse that, that needs to get back to two turns. This was left with too much work to do. Kind of got going late. Was still a distant third. I think this horse makes sense going the longer distance while staying at the same level. So that's a, that's my $48 ticket. This has the potential to pay really nice today if we can catch some of the prices in here. So good luck to everybody playing, and it should be a great week at Monmouth Park, so make sure you're checking them out.